Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm going to talk about the lag issue. So there's been some improvements. Uh, this is on battery power. Obviously, it works better when it's plugged in, but uh, I don't think that this is a solution. I think this is a patch, not a fix. That said, let me go into some of the details and let me quickly show you kind of where we're at. Uh, it's not consistent. You can see it's still dragging way behind and this is not a huge brush. But I do think that this brush that I'm using is definitely one of the worst offenders. So you can see it's trailing way behind. However, it's fairly consistent. It's fairly consistent and that's at least a step in the right direction. So I'm gonna show you what my settings are and then you guys can toy with it and see if you can make some progress with me in this area. All right, so we're gonna to go to Edit, Preferences, Performance, and here you can see I have Use Graphics Processor selected, Advanced Settings, I have Use Graphics Processor to Accelerate Computation Turned Off, I have it set to Advanced, OpenCL, Anti-Alias Guides and Pass, and 30-bit Display is turned off. Those two are turned on, as you can clearly see. Uh, I've bumped this up, I believe, a little bit. It's at 66% at basically 9.5 um, gigabytes of memory. Mm, megabytes gigabytes. All right, so what I found made the most significant difference. Uh, we're going to have to go out of tablet mode. I like tablet mode, by the way, for full screen art. I think it just really is, it looks perfect, in my opinion. Okay, all right, same picture twice. Okay, so we're going to go to NVIDIA control panel. And I think really you can just just take these and use a system-wide, which I think is just fine, or you can do it with just Photoshop. So let's, let me show you just Photoshop. All right, so this is Krita here, but let's go find Photoshop. Uh, by the way, I moved my recording area where I'm doing this is downstairs now instead of upstairs, uh, which means that there will probably be more baby noise, but the trade-off would be I should be able to get more videos out at a far more frequent pace. All right, so instead of adaptive or optimal power, uh, set it to prefer maximum performance. This does make a huge difference. If you test these other ones, you'll notice very, very significant difference in, this, in the uh, lag. It does not fix it, but it is a good improvement. Um, I just set power management mode for everything to prefer maximum performance. Um, and, you know, if, if I can work at a speed that I'm comfortable with, even if my battery drains faster, it's still, it's still an enjoyable short period of time as opposed to a frustrating long period of time. At least less laggy. Okay, so... That's my settings there. And the other thing that you will want to note, um, we can put that down there, is I keep this at best performance. If I drop this down, obviously another way to very quickly notice uh, a difference in performance. All right, so those are the main tips that I would suggest. Uh, I tried uh, probably 15 different things that uh, did not seem to make a significant difference. The settings inside of Photoshop did not seem to make a significant difference. I really did not notice uh, very much different with changing the the amount of undo and redo uh, available, um, switching off the advanced um, the acceleration did not seem to make a big difference. But those are my current settings. If you guys can tweak it or test this on your machines, I think that would be a great next step for us in figuring out this problem. Oh, I, I also uh, did try the original drivers that came with the Surface Book and uh, did not seem to make any difference whatsoever. So if it's, if it's uh, working for you, let's see if we can put all the pieces into place so we have a consistent plan. All right, guys, thanks for your help in this. Uh, I'm looking forward to reading the comments. All right, thanks. 
Until next time, stay creative.